Today I'm going to show you how to export your 3D models from SketchUp uh, to use for 3D printing. And the way that we do this is we have to take our 3D model and we have to export it as an STL. STL is pretty much the standard that's used for software that you're going to use to do your 3D printing. So from SketchUp, it has to go to another software program. Uh, it could be Cura or Simplify 3D or MakerBots, desktop software. And then from there, you prepare the files for 3D printing. And then that goes onto your SD card and, your, and into your 3D printer to do 3D printing. SketchUp by default does not let you export geometry as STL. So you need a plugin to do this. Luckily, whether you have the free version or the pro version, you can download the STL extension and then you're able to export all of your geometry as STL for 3D printing. Now there's two ways to do this. If you go to Window and you go down to Extension Warehouse, it's going to open a window like this and you can type in STL and search. This will show you all the plugins or extensions for STL. This is the one that we want, SketchUp, STL by SketchUp Team. Hit download. You're going to notice that you need to actually have a Gmail account or a Trimble account and you need to sign in. When we click on, okay, let's get started, we see an authentication error. This happens pretty often during workshops. So maybe the, the in SketchUp extension warehouse window that pops up is a bit temperamental. There's luckily another way of doing this. So let's just close that. Let's go to our browser. We're using Google Chrome. Type in SketchUp extensions into Google. The first result that comes up is extension warehouse. You click on here. Make sure that you're signed in. That's me, Brian. I'm signed in. I'll type in STL here and hit search. And here's the one that we want. Click download. And you'll notice down here, oh, we've already downloaded it once before. So now we're downloading it again. Right click on it and click show in folder. And this will show you where it is. So this is good to know. You need to know where it is so that uh, when we install it, you can navigate to it. And installing it is pretty easy. So let's go back to SketchUp. Let's go back to Window, and instead of Extension Warehouse, let's go to Preferences. Okay, make sure you come down to Extensions and look down here in the bottom left, you'll see Install Extension. This lets you navigate to where your extension has been saved. You notice it's .rbz, that's the extension that you're looking for. This is the one that we downloaded, and you click and then it'll say, do you want to install this extension? And then you'd click yes. We already have it, so we're going to click no. When you click yes, it'll install it. Go to file and then come down and you should have export STL. And then if you don't, try to close SketchUp and open it again. And then maybe when it restarts, the extension will finally show up. So you should have export STL. If you don't, contact us. Uh, either in the YouTube comments or by email, and we'll put the link to contact us in the video description. Okay. We need to have some geometry to export, so let's make a model real quick. We'll make this a radius of 5. We're going to make some small spaces. This will be 3 millimeters and 3 millimeters. This is a small plastic spacer. Let's triple click it, shortcut G, create. This makes it a component. This makes it very easy to work with and makes it very easy to export. Let's make one that's a little bit bigger, let's say 10, radius 10. And let's make it also free. Complete that. And like that. So now we have two spacers. Two spacers plastic spacers. 
you'll notice that if we really want to, we can fit one inside the other. If we had to print a lot of these and we wanted to save space, we would want to probably arrange it something like this. And you'll notice that the template we're using is a custom template for our 3D printer, ExtraBot 3020. This is a printer made right here in Thailand. It's pretty big. It's 300 millimeters by 200 millimeters. Uh, if we wanted to print a lot of these spaces out at one time, instead of having them all spread out, like this, we could put one inside the other. And that's, uh, we'll show you the difference. So actually, let's, uh, let's start exporting. Usually when you're exporting STL, you'll do them separately, all the parts separately, so you can arrange them in your 3D printing software how you would like. So let's do this, export. We'll put it on the desktop. We're gonna call this ring1.stl. Always add the .stl because as you can see here, the extension isn't showing up here for whatever reason. But it's okay, just type in .stl and it'll work fine. This is ring2, so we'll do the same thing. Export STL, ring2.stl. Now let's put this one inside this one. And we'll select both of them. Notice here that each time that I've done this, export selected geometry only has been checked. That means that uh, if you don't select it, it's not going to export it. And if we didn't have this option checked, not only would it, let's do this first, rings.stl. Not only would it export these two, but it would also try to export things like this. And then when you try to 3D print this, this could create a real problem. So make sure that when you export, this is always checked. Export selected geometry only. Okay, let's close this. Let's close that. Let's close that. Here's Cura. This is the program that we use to set up our 3D printing. So we have rings, rings two, and ring one. Let's put all three of these in. All you do is you select them and you drag them in into the space. It's that easy. You'll notice we have the two separate ones here. You'll see kind of a shadow, a bounding box. You're not able to actually put geometry into that bounding area. They repel each other. So you wouldn't be able to set it up like this unless you set it up and exported it together in SketchUp. So this is the one we exported from SketchUp together. And this is the one we exported separately. So what we're going to do next is we're going to actually save this, go to File, Save G-Code. I will save this on the desktop as well. Rings 2. We'll print this out and we'll show you the results after, after this. Right here we see the printer printing out what we just got done exporting and setting up in Cura. Uh, you can see that it's printing one ring inside the other, and you can see the other two that are separated. Uh, this only took about eight minutes to print out, and, um, you know, it's quite easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's just like printing out a document. You edit very quickly in SketchUp, you export, and you print it out, and here's the final result. Thanks for watching. Visit our website at progressth.org.